What's up everyone, my name is Chris Lude, welcome back to another horror game. This one's called Forest Search by Century Turbo. Found it on Game Joel, deciding to get back into the horror theme since, you know, Halloween's just around the corner. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's go to the how to play. Uh, WASD, left click to use flare. I'm assuming that's just like a regular flare. And then we have uh, E to pick up and use, so just standard stuff. Objective, turn on four watchtowers. Okay. Let's see where this takes me. Keep leaving the window. Okay, there we go. Billboard textures, nice. Okay, so you have to be right up on this thing. Okay, cool. Can I can I climb up this ladder here? I mean, that was spooky initially, but damn, that was fast. <laughs> Try it again. All right, so I need to immediately pick that up. All right, so I am there. I need to go this way. Keep back, Mitch. Ah, damn. <laughs> That did not work out. <laughs> Those things are like right up on you too. Can't hear him going. Just gonna run. Just gonna get moving. Because obviously I know where he's coming from. Ooh, look a fence line. That's just freaking dandy. Yep, this thing's right on my butt. I can hear him. More flares. Don't know why I did that. I am not the smartest man alive here. Can't really you don't really have Jack for a run speed. But I guess that suits. Never turn around. Okay, so there's something over here. Yes. Is there flares here? Yes. All right. So we're running from a skeleton man. Why did I just turn around? Maybe he has a walk path that we can use against him. Two levers, so we've got two watchtowers down. Fence line. And maybe this thing follows a sort of waypoint system. If that's the case, just keep moving. And do not cease. Okay, so that goes off somewhere. As to where, I do not know. I know I'm wandering aimlessly. It's probably not my smartest move, but I am not... I forgot to flatten that terrain out, but, uh... That was spooky. That was... very spooky. Oh god, I have no idea where I'm going right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get got. <laughs> I'm going to get got. So I did not look at the map. Oh, God. At the map. God. This is actually very nerve-wracking. 
A lot of people think all oh, the music sets the stage. That's that's partly true, but sometimes utter silence is even worse in terms of spookiness. So there's one of the watchtowers I already set off. I'm out of flares, unfortunately, because I was an idiot. Gotta try to stay away from him. Seems to be heading a different direction here. Does he... He doesn't teleport, does he? Oh god, I hurt him. I certainly hope not. Hurtingly so hope not. God, I'm an idiot. Are there more than one? Or is it just him? Some of this terrain needs to be smoothed out just a bit. Nothing major. Just make a note. I do like the simplistic nature of it, being Unity too. I'm a I, I work with Unity myself. I am lost. God, the music is spooky. Like I don't know if it's reactive or anything. I like that I don't have a limit on my run. I hear him. He's right up my ass, isn't he? I've used that asset before. I know exactly that asset. I've used it before. One of my older horror projects that I never finished, but I probably should. Oh, God, this is actually really, really nerve-wracking. Now that I pseudo-have the hang of it, I just don't know where anything is, but I, I like the skybox. I think I can hear him. I am seeing nothing here. I'm just wandering aimlessly trying to hold towards some path. Hoping I run into something here. You know, I really can't run for Jack, can I? It's very mimicry, or not mimicry, but very, very much so like myself being asthmatic, can't run. I get winded laughing too hard, so I really can't say much. Trees, trees, trees. Aha! Don't freaking do that. Alright, so we got... So they're... Are they drawn to it? I wonder. These things are really distanced far from each other, aren't they? Okay, so... Got one more to go. Jeez, I'm not seeing... There, no. No, it was I already there? Got a tiny jump. Yeah, I was already there. There's one over there. Let's try taking this path up this hill. Maybe we can at least get a sight on something. I'm not even going to try to break it, break the game and try to jump over the fence. I don't want to have to turn around because that thing's probably following me right on my ass. I got enough flares to keep it at bay at the very least. I don't know where this thing has gone. If Okay. Last one. Ha-ha! Oh, hey, there he is, right down there. <laughs> Took me a couple tries, but I got it. Gotta admit, the atmosphere on that was very spooky. 
I was reading some of the comments on it before I downloaded it, and uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, well, not a lot of people, at least one person said, that the atmosphere could do a little bit better with the music. I think, personally, that that atmosphere was... Although it could have used a tweak, like some of the, the ground, I would say, that the, uh, the terrain itself could have used a little bit of smoothing out. But overall, it had that very spooky vibe. Uh, for me, the, the worst part about some horror movies, worst as in scariest, is um, whenever it's dead silent. It's just dead quiet. Because you don't know... Because, because with music, like especially in a movie like Jaws, even though it's not horror, but in Jaws, you know, the music was key. A lot of horror movies, the music... It's kind of like the build-up. It almost soothes you a bit. When it's utter silence, and then you don't know where it's at, and it comes up on you, that's some scary crap. But, anyway, that was really good, um, especially for a quick one. It, it gave me a very Slender-esque vibe. And being able to hear the thing coming without knowing where he's at, that's pretty spooky, too. The flares were a good little deterrent. They gave you a little bit of confidence, a little bit of safety, even though they weren't jack. <laughs> they, they, they weren't going to stop it, but they're at least going to keep it at bay for a little bit, which was nice. I might have outrun it, might have outsmarted it, I don't know. Either way, that was really good. I like that. Uh, link to this game, or, well, I should say, thank you guys so much for watching. Link to this game is going to be in the description, as well the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Support them any way you can. National Suicide Text Crisis Line and the National Suicide... National Suicide Prevention Lifeline National Text Crisis Line are going to be in the description. If you or someone you know is suffering, feel free to make those resources available. I highly implore it. Um, be sure to drop a like, maybe comment, tell me something I did wrong if I broke it, which I probably did, knowing me. Got a horror game you want me to try out? Adventure game even? I love adventure games. Or, anything else? Or hit that subscribe button, that really helps too. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, see you guys later.